Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, Exta, Ida, Elta, O. And today I'm going to be going over some hip hop, some boom bap inside Reaper. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Reaper, and this theme is called Peace. So let's get started. Let's try to find a sample. Let's try to find some drum breaks and let's get into making some boom bap. All right, so I think I found a nice melody inside of one of my packs that I have here. Uh, this is what the sample sounds like right now. So what makes this even cooler is I have this option over here that's called the MK Tuner. Um, I actually made a little toolbar for it and I can actually lock this to a key. So right now it's telling me that the key is in D sharp. So what I wanna do is um, let's change it. Let's make it into a C sharp, right? So now it's locked in C sharp and when I play it, Sounds a little more dirtier. Right, so now I'm, I'm just gonna right click on here and I'm just gonna insert on a new track, right? So now I have it here. It looks like it's eight bar loop and uh, I'll probably leave it at that right now. Let's chop it up. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go down here to my tools and I'm gonna go on this MK slicer. I have a tutorial showing you how to use MK Slicer. So definitely check that out if you want to actually use this tool. Let's take off this sensitivity so that way we can kind of add our own slices in here. So I'm gonna put a slice here. All right, and let's add a slice here. All right, so it looks like the big peaks is where we kind of want it to be. So I'm just gonna kind of go through here and add some peaks. All right, so now we have our slices in here. I'm gonna do the MIDI and it's gonna process it. And what I wanna do first is go over here and click on this and I'm gonna put it on MIDI, complete control, and make sure your record is turned on. So now when I go through the samples, Right, so I have all of them sliced up over here on the keyboard itself, which is what you want. Uh, my tempo is 85 for this project. I didn't uh, say that in the beginning, I'm not sure. I'm gonna double click, open up my piano roll so I can kind of see everything. Uh, let's scroll up, let's make this a little thicker so you know where our notes are. And I'm just gonna delete these out of here. So I have a couple of choices. I can kind of just add stuff in here and um, do it this way if I wanted to. Right, so I can do I can do that. And I can just duplicate these over and probably change up this last one here, right? So I can do it this way, or I can actually play them out, like I said, and just kind of make my own pattern. But I'm gonna leave it at this just to make this video a little bit easier for you to kind of follow on here. So if you want to actually mess with the samples, you can go in here to where it says effects and it'll pull it up the effects in here. And as you can see, they are all resample uh, all chopped up in here, right? Um, one of the things I do like to do is um, make sure the attack is turned up on all of them. I'm not sure if there's a way to kind of edit all of them at the same time. But just to make the sample a little bit smoother, you can change the attack time to make it a little bit higher. So I usually like to just go to one. So I'm gonna do this for all of them. All right.
right, so now all of them are set to at least one millisecond of attack time. So this is where I usually like to, to have it. And when you're making boom bap, it's usually the setup that takes the longest. But when you're actually putting stuff together, it doesn't usually take that long, but it's always that setup, initial setup, all right? So um, let's add some, let's find some drums to add in here. All right, so I think I found a good drum loop that should fit with this. Uh, here's the drum loop, here's what it sounds like. All right, so let's see if we can get this on here. As I put it on here, I see that it doesn't reach this like little limit over here. Uh, so let me kind of zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna go to the end here. I'm gonna zoom in. All right, so you see this little line here, this dotted line. So what I'm gonna do is hold down Shift and Alt, and you see the little hand there. I'm just gonna drag this out, and it gives me free reign. I don't have, it's not locked to the grid, uh, seeing that I'm holding Shift. So I'm gonna pull this right here to that line, and this should be a perfect loop. Right, something really simple, boom bap -ish. Let's try to uh, add some effects to the actual sample. So I'm gonna go here to my center. I actually have some reverb and delay already set up on buses, right? So I'm gonna add a reverb and a delay. Let me turn down the delay and let's hear how that sounds. So now that we have the foundation now, let's add a bass. And for the bass, I'm gonna use the Modo bass from IK Multimedia. Um, so let's go into the effects here, add complete control MIDI editor for it. So now that we have complete control on here, let's go to these three notes, click on that, and we're gonna click on scale. So now that our scale is on, we can set the scale to what we need it to be, which would be C sharp. Anytime you play a key, it'll always be in tune. So you can use this with the typing keyboard as well. So let's do that. Let's actually do it with the keypad. So even if I'm hitting the wrong key, it's still gonna be the correct key. All right, so let's play it and just kind of see if we can find something that'll work with it. All right, so I think I found something. I'm gonna be using the typing keyboard to actually put it in though. So that was with the typing keyboard, adding a bass on here. So we have the notes down here now for the bass. We just need to change the bass because it's not the right one. So this is where uh, the Mudo bass comes in handy because you can change it. I even have a, a Ricken bass, which a lot of people use from Contact. Uh, so they actually have one in here. You could change your playing style. You can change the strings. So uh, you can add your amps on here. So it's a it's really, really uh, detailed in what you can kind of do with it. Let's see what we got. All right, 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna add some strings to the track. I'm gonna use some augmented strings in here. All right. So I'm kind of just gonna go up the scale after that. And then I'll probably just repeat these over. Uh, duplicate, duplicate. And this last one is probably gonna be a little bit different. All right, so I found some strings in the augmented strings. It's called Speed Run, uh, and this is what it sounds like with the track. So I wanted to thicken up the, the strings and kind of give it like a nice little higher tone as well. So I put a little higher note. I just copied from the bottom, brought it up to the top. So this is what it sounds like now. That's really cool. So let's add one more element in here and I'm probably gonna go to Arcade to get that. All right, so let's see if we can record these in here. So uh, let's stretch these out. I think they need to be stretched. Maybe that. One. So, I mean, once we actually mix everything in together, make it all blend, oof, we might have a banger on our hands here, ladies and gents. All right, so uh, let me actually go through, mix the track, let you guys hear exactly how it sounds at the end. So I was able to uh, mix it down. I did add a riser and a crash, just to give it some more oomph when it comes in or for the transitions. And I started off with the vocals, let's go. So I finished laying out the track. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video of me making a boom bap hip hop beat inside of Reaper. I will be making a couple more for this month. 
I uh, hope you guys are tuned in. If you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. I'm gonna try to drop a video every Thursday on this channel, just so you guys can kind of have something to go to. Uh, it'll probably be around the same time when I drop these videos. Now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section of this video. If you haven't already, you can definitely check out my website. It's gonna be xelohh.com. Uh, I actually do mixing and mastering services. If you like the way my piano roll is actually set up, I do have a Reaper configuration file that you can download, it's eight bucks. Uh, if you don't wanna pay for it, I do have a video showing you how I created the piano roll currently and give you step-by-step -step of how to actually set it up yourself. But with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video and I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. And once again, thank you for watching Learning Reaper. Till the next time, people, peace. Hey you, yes you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not gonna keep waiting here. All right, I will see you in the next video though. Peace.